Yeah, I'll tell you what we need in this order. Number one, we need our clean, we need oxygen, clean air. Number two is water. Number three is not food. Number three is sleep. You go more than two hours, two weeks without sleep, you're going to start to lose your mind. Number three is not protein. Number three is sufficient calories to sustain yourself. I've been in practice for close to 60 years and uh, pro probably without exaggeration, probably seen around 30,000 people. I believe that the human body is a very sophisticated biological organism that has tremendous adaptive capabilities. The study of the miraculous human body, the biological organism, its ability to adapt and survive, even under the terrible circumstances, is pretty amazing. But there is an optimal way to live. There's a way to live to remain relatively free of disease and to prolong our life. The idea is not to, it's, I mean, it's nice to live a long time, but a lot of people are living longer today because of medical heroics, but they don't have a quality of life. The idea is to live a long life and have a quality life where you're pain free, your mind is working well, you know, you can enjoy life, you experience joy and happiness on the difficult times and to be able to experience true spiritual value so you really understand, you know, how we were designed and the natural laws that we are designed to live by. And I started to understand how fabulous the human body was as a healer. That if you knew how to get out of the way and undo the damage that was done to your previous lifestyle and to, to give the body the freedom to be able to heal itself by leaving out the processed food. I found out that what you leave out is that critically important. It's just as important what you eat because if you eat a lot of good foods and you don't leave the foods that are causing you the problem that help you develop disease, you're not gonna get the same results. You'll get some benefits, but when you leave out all the processed food, and a lot of people don't do, like to do that because there's a psychological component to hunger. In other words, we're addicted to the very foods that are making us sick. But a lot of people don't like to give up the pleasurable foods because of the psychological component of hunger. All addictions work through the hunger drive, no matter what it is. And that's, that's through the hypothalamus gland at the floor of your brain, the top of your brain stem. A lot of people go on a, a dietary change for the better. They, get, they actually feel in their minds, they feel sicker because they're going through that biological change or, or transmission. Yeah, we have to remember that probably 75% of the diseases people are developing are not from nutritional deficiencies. It has a lot to do with excesses and, and ingesting uh, uh, food into your body and living a lifestyle that's toxic to the human body that the body has to struggle to keep up with till it fails to keep up with it. And then you could develop different diseases. Some of it's epigenetic, some of it's genetic. So tremendous amount of confusion. And it still is going on out there. Basically, once you understand this, it's basically simple. It really is simple. The, the science that takes place in the human body when you're doing this, that's not simple, that's complicated. But living according to natural law, that the human body was created to live by is basically simple. Your body knows what to do. If you give your body the freedom to do it, well, as far as getting all the nutrients you need, that's, it's not that hard. It's actually pretty easy to be honest with you as long as you do it the way you're supposed to do it. And uh, the thing is that coming off these foods that might've been part of your culture growing up and your upbringing that were delicious, whether you're Italian or Swedish or you come from Israel, no matter where you come from, you, they, they've, they're kind of programmed into your hard drive, into your unconscious mind. We are a product of our unconscious mind. All the actions we take consciously, we're drawn on our unconscious mind. They're habits. And what happens if you say, when you're thinking, I'm hungry, automatically your unconscious mind feeds the information that you say, I think I'll have a piece of pizza. Oh, maybe I'll have a bowl of ice cream, or maybe I have a couple of lamb chops with maybe some carrots. So that that's because your unconscious mind is being programmed. If you never had those foods in your whole life, and you're an Asian person that lives in China, you're not gonna, you're gonna, the unconscious mind is gonna bring up other information. Maybe I'll have some brown rice with some mushrooms. It's totally different. How do you change 
that information, that information is done by reprogramming your unconscious mind. It's done by numerically. The more you do it, the more you develop a new consciousness coming out of your, your hard drive. Uh, Dr. Dishi has uh, this book, Your Healthy Journey, which you can get on Amazon. And his name is Fred Bishi, B-I-S-C-I. And I'll put more of the contact information below this video. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life, brighten up your life.